from Atkinson, Illinois. It is October 4th. Corn's drying down. I see him harvesting corn along Interstate 80. There we're, uh, must be a, a new Love's truck stop that we're at. Because on the goofy map, it still shows a. Uh, What zones was a restaurant closed down, field station, whatever. We're um, 50 miles from where we got to deliver. We got a load of fire brick on for the steel mill between Muscatine and Davenport. So we'll be there in the morning, that big facility there. Delivering our 30 some thousand, 32,000, I think, pounds of fire brick. Then we're going to head on over to John Deere, where I've been at before. Um, it's in this area. Probably a couple headers for combines. They're going to, uh, one's going to Galesburg, and the other one is going back over to Vincennes, up in this area here somewhere, there it is, Vincennes, Indiana, and I need to get the truck over to Louisville. Get the inspection done over at Mercer. And our Mercer yard is really close to downtown on the on the Ohio River. And all these many many areas here Mercer's got a lot of buildings in there and such like that the driver's lounge, brokerage so that's that's the long and the short of it we're back on the road, we've been down since September 8th waiting to get in the shop get a few things taken care of on the truck got some new springs on the front end had a groove wearing in the one, so that that needs been that had to have been taken care of. And don't miss, don't mind the trash. There's a hurry, get going kind of a deal. But these guys are back on the road. They spent a long time on the farm, having a good time, and we got the hang hanger projects done, and got a little farm all super C with a motor deck for the airport. They were just out here. We did a load check here, twenty. 30 miles back but watch this you guys want to go out of course you'll go out huh <laughs> he got into something on the farm there his breath could kill a small Mexican village you want to go out Sammy All right. this guy will bonsai out but Sammy I got to lift out so hold on danger danger go lay down danger go lay down you wait. Be patient. Be good boy, okay? Wait right there. Wait right there. Hey, I didn't say go. Come on, set. Set. You wait. You be good. Huh? No unruly Germans. No unruly Germans. Okay, dangerous. Loves the grass. I lift Sammy out. I'm gonna pause it here. Sam does a lot of activity on the farm. She gets kind of sore being her age and such, so takes her a minute to get going. That 
little bit of load there is 30 some thousand pounds uh, I don't like to use a lot of bungees and stuff so I got PVC pipe wrapped up in my this ride's real nice I can go coast to coast I take my excess and roll it up in there there's that PVC pipe that's 20 foot length both sides got a half twist in the straps so they don't vibrate and you go clear around the world at speed and those will stay put what'd you find you find a goodie it's Sammy poor Sammy hate to see her getting old that good dog and there's Nick and Pooch <laughs> Yeah, we'll lift the hood and show you what we got going on. Sure is pretty out here. Beautiful fall weather in Michigan. Really rare for Michigan, in my opinion, to be as nice as it's been. The month of September was better than the month of June. Then we had a few cold, wet days fall hit the last few days here prior to shoving off has just been absolutely perfect sunny warm brand new turbo brand new springs so I spend the money on this thing to keep it up you don't see any leaks or anything on this engine very important for me everything be maintained as new it's just a good old truck still got some meat in the tires got some life left on them had missions on I'll never buy missions again they were out around and they wanted me to buy two new tires and leave the ones behind so they can evaluate them. That's their warranty process. Well, I already spent fourteen hundred bucks for tires. You can you can basically go jump in the lake. So I bought these Yokohamas. We had Yokohamas on that T two thousand that I drove prior to buying my truck, and they went really well. So that's what I bought was Yokohamas. I'm really happy with them. The four hundred dollar well now a six hundred dollar tire. Thanks to our government screwing everything up, but they used to be a four hundred dollar tire. Can't imagine what those. Michelin's cost now. They're supposed to be the best of the best, and they were the worst of the worst, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, there they're looking underneath. Looks pretty good. Just got an oil change here done last week. truck used to be red the firewall didn't get painted red when I rebuilt it after it got torn up but yeah she's a good one including had a uh, bit of a seeping leak on my power steering pump reservoir fiberglassed it in four years ago still holding good it's not leaking it's maintained as new right so everything's looking good Got new belts, got a new fan belt, new AC belt, new water pump belt. Gates belts are green, that's uh, no foreign made stuff there. Right, Sam? American made, huh? German. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Okay. Danger over there, checking things out. Yeah. I love farm country. Illinois, Indiana, Missouri. They're all real pretty to me. Lake Michigan's what makes Michigan. But I spend one more weekend up there on the farm, then uh, we're going to be heading out to Arizona and run Arizona to Florida. It looks like there's going to be a lot of Florida freight with the hurricane wiping out Fort Myers. So, probably doing a lot of Florida runs this winter.